Oh, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on, but the judge just stopped everything um, as the prosecutor was questioning Kyle about whether or not it's okay or illegal to protect property with an AR-15. Mr. Richards? Your Honor, Mr. Binger is either forgetting the court's rulings or attempting to provoke a mistrial on this matter. He knows he can't go into this, and he's asking the questions. I ask the court to strongly admonish him, and the next time it happens, I'll be asking for a mistrial <laughs> with prejudice. He's an experienced attorney, and he knows better. Mr. Damn. Finger? First of all, Your Honor, this was the subject of a motion. I'm well aware of that. And the court left the door open. This for me, not for you. <laughs> My understanding of You should have come and asked. <laughs> For, uh, for reconsideration, you did on the one motion, and in fact, I granted your motion for reconsideration. That was excuse not our me, motion. I, I, uh, not, uh, excuse me. I, uh, I did. I granted. We did not move that for reconsideration. That was their motion. I, I, we have I, not filed any me. motions to reconsider in this case. That was their motion for reconsideration, which I denied. But uh, I said I denied it, or I indicated a bias towards denial is what I did. Held it open with a bias towards denial. Why would you think that that made it okay for you without any advance notice to bring this matter before the jury? You are already, you were, I, I was a, astonished when you began your examination by commenting on the defendant's post-arrest silence. That's basic law. It's been basic law in this country for 40 years, 50 years. I have no idea why you would do something like that. And it gives, um, uh, well, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Woo. So I don't know what you're up to. Damn. Yes. He is not having it. We filed another acts motion on this exact issue because in my mind, and I argued this, it is identical to what was going on on the night of August 25th in the sense that the defendant was using this exact same weapon. He was using it in a manner to try and protect property. No, he wasn't. There was no... There's it was hypothetical. Your Honor, I, with all due respect, I'm not going to rehash the motion. Yeah, that's absolutely untrue. It and is there's no, no, no. Your arguments of record, <laughs> my comments are of record, and why I ruled as I did is of record. There's nothing that I heard in this trial to suggest that anything's changed. Even if you're correct in your assumption that you know more than uh, I did at the time, uh, you should have come to the court and say, I want to go into this. Uh, why you would think that you could go into it without any advance notice to the court, I don't understand that. And as the uh, defense is pointing out, you're an experienced trial lawyer, and this should not have been gone into. He's desperate. Your Honor, there have been That's what things in this case, the testimony in this case, that I believe opens the door to this. For example, the defense has introduced evidence that the defendant pointed a gun at a man wearing yellow pants because that person was on a car on the car source lot. Now, there's no, no justification that I can think of why the defendant would point that gun at He someone. said he didn't The do defendant it. has just testified this morning that he agreed with that person no, no, he in said the yellow he pants was, that he pointed the gun at him. No, he, he said, said I was joking when I said that to the guy in the like, yellow pants. I did it? But he like, said I did it? he's acknowledged like that. that he told the person in the yellow pants, yeah, you're right. I did point a gun at you when you were sitting on a car. No. He said I did. That's what he Exactly. Talked about. So he's agreeing. May I finish, please? I'd like to have a chance to make a record, if I could, without being interrupted, if that's okay. He has mentioned that he has he's acknowledged that he's used this gun to protect property. He's also just acknowledged that he knows he can't do that. I am attempting to impeach him now <laughs> with the prior August 10th incident, 15 days prior, involving the same gun, where he is threatening to use that gun to protect property. It he goes. He's going to get destroyed. Your Honor, of it. he is what? saying he wished he did so he could shoot people. You know, no, there's a lot didn't. of difference between commenting That's not what he said. about something when you haven't got a gun and threatening someone when you do. You know, it's interesting, Your Honor, because the entire defense theory in this case is Joseph Rosenbaum, who was unarmed. I want you to tell me what the defense theory of the case is. <laughs> I want, may I, look, may I respond look. to what you just said, Your Honor? I'd like to respond to what you Can just you said. I, I apologize, Madam Court Reporter, but I'd like to try and make Even a record the court without reporters like, anyone dude. interrupting me, if that's okay. I believe that there is a central part of this case 
that Mr. Rosenbaum is making threats that he has no ability to carry out. So to your point, Your Honor, mm -hmm. you're arguing that this August 10th incident, one, one aspect of why you don't believe it's relevant is the defendant didn't have the gun with him. The, this case is about someone who didn't have a weapon, and yet the jury is being told because of those threats, that means the defendant has to defend himself. So Kyle's with gun. all due respect, Your Honor, mere verbal threats have already been shown to this jury and used as a basis for someone's subsequent actions. I am attempting with the defendant to use his mere verbal threat on August 10th, 15 days prior, that he's going to shoot shoplifters with his AR-15 to impeach the defendant in a murder trial. I would ask the court's forbearance to do that. Said. I apologize, Your Honor. You're right. I probably should have brought this to your attention earlier. I may have misunderstood your ruling because I thought what your ruling this? was if the evidence in this case made that more relevant, you would admit it or at least consider it an admittance. I believe, based on the evidence that we've heard and more look specifically, the, exactly the what the defendant said earlier about admitting pointing a gun at someone who is <laughs> merely jumping or sitting on a car, look at that the door is the open one. now to this testimony. This guy's so and I folded. continue to believe that his state of mind, his intent, his belief as to self-defense <laughs> is the core of this case. That was the basis for my motion. You were strongly inclined against it. I understand that. But now we're in the middle of trial, and there's been a lot of evidence that's come in that I think makes this relevant. So I'm attempting to impeach the defendant on his beliefs. I believe I'm entitled to impeach the defendant on his beliefs and on his I'm statements. Gonna, I'm going to interrupt you now because you're talking oh, about his beliefs. Here it comes. I think that's what they call his statements to your Because he just said, can't use deadly force, can't threaten to use deadly force to protect property. So now I'm impeaching him on that. Your, your Honor. He's misrepresenting what was said. The court said. has seen no reason to change its ruling. And just so this record is clear, in spite of the lengthy statement by Mr. <laughs> Binger, before we started today, the court specifically stated in Mr. Binger's presence, there's been nothing to have me change any of my rulings. There have been numerous occasions during this trial where they've opened the door. The one time when they're going into Mr. Rosenbaum's prior the reason he doesn't like guns, and I said something, I whispered in Mr. Krause's ear, it's because of the prior convictions. Please stop. And he did. He knows if you're going to go into something that's been excluded in a pretrial order, you better ask the court, you better get permission. This is ridiculous. Yeah. It, you was, know, it wasn't excluded, Your Honor. You know why it was excluded in the first place? Because it's, it was propensity evidence. That is exactly what 90404 is designed to prevent. You're talking about his attitudes. His attitude is he wants to shoot people. Now, I've admitted that kind of evidence in other trials when it's been appropriate. I didn't admit it in this case because to me, what I've heard in this trial, and by the way, Mr. Richards absolutely correctly points out that just hours ago, I said I had heard nothing in this trial to change any of my rulings. That was before so the why? Testimony, Your Honor. Pardon me. That was before the defense testimony. Don't get brazen with me. No. Uh, uh, you knew very well. You know very well that an attorney can't go into these wow. types of areas when the judge has already ruled without asking outside the presence of the jury to do so. So don't give me that. That's number one. Number two. This is propensity evidence. I said at the time that I made my ruling, and I'll repeat again now for you, I see no similarity between talking about wishing you had your AR gun, which you don't have, <laughs> so that you could take fire rounds at these uh, thought to be shoplifters, and the incidents in these cases, which are not, right. he didn't th see there's the nothing in your case that suggests the defendant was lying in wait to shoot at somebody. Yep. or reflecting upon the shooting for a vast amount of time. Yep. Every one of the incidents involves uh, matters that involve seconds in time. So I don't, I comment at the time, I don't see the similarity, and I don't see the similarity now. If it's not similar, that's, that's the whole rule. Those are all the exceptions to 90404. Check the authorities. Wigmore on evidence. Judge Weinstein. Colonel McCormick. It's the, the prior act has to bear the signature of the accused 
or it has to be good. so similar as to suggest it's a common plan or something like that. You have back. an incident where he's making comments about some lead shop lifters versus crimes that involve Nothing instantaneous that. actions, whether yep. premeditated murder or whether self-defense, that's for the jury to decide. But I don't see the similarity. I said it couldn't come in, and it isn't coming in. No matter what you think. <laughs> Number two, I, I, I have to guy. be concerned that with what Mr. Richards has said about the, the, the progress of the trial, and, and um, when, when you were way, well, I said you were over <laughs> the line, in, uh, close to, or o over the line on commenting on the defendant's pretrial silence, which is a well-known rule. I, 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 I'm astonished yeah. that that would have been an issue. So I don't want to have another issue. As long this as prosecution's case, dirty. I mean, we've seen that. Thank you. That's the Damn. Nice.